Hi everyone, this is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. Good morning, guys. Um, I have a project share. I've been wanting to make a box card for a very, very long time. Let me move this out of the way. I have been wanting to make a box card for a very, very long time. Um, but I was having trouble. I didn't want to cut one. I know you can do it without a die. I just didn't want to. I wanted a die that I could just put my paper on top and run it through my machine. So I was able to find the uh, Gemini one, the uh, Crafter's Companion one on eBay. So I picked that up. Um, this is just the base, the box card. And it does have a couple of uh, plaques and some layering pieces, but it doesn't have like the butterflies. Uh, I think they make uh, different sets to go with this uh, but all I wanted was the pop-up box card uh, base base die so I picked that up and uh, the other thing that I use for it is this happy birthday from carnation crafts I use this angler it's called the angler uh, from carnation craft and then I used um, this one that is a view of a lake. It's called the lake. And you can see the sky. You can see the horizon. It's very, very pretty. And then I use the uh, on the shore, which is this one right here. And the reason I turn it around is so you can see the artwork that they have that coordinates with these dies. So here is the artwork for that one. And... Uh, and I have those out because I want to, I've had questions about how do you cut them? How do you get the artwork? And hopefully in this video, I'll be able to answer those questions for you. So here is the cloud one and it's called set fair. So you notice that this um, die comes in pieces and, and uh, but it's all attached. So you do not cut this apart. Whenever you get a die from them and it's got pieces attached, leave them attached they're made to line up exactly the way they are attached with the artwork and i'm going to demonstrate that for you that way uh, you guys can see what i'm talking about so let me share the card first that i created so here is the top view of the card that i created i did download digital uh the the uh, carnation craft they have coordinating papers that go with their different dies and stamps that you can download for free. So I did download um, some of their papers that coordinate with the dies. And what I mean what, by downloading doesn't mean that uh, I waited for, like I ordered them and they came in. You have to download them into your computer and then you print them out at home. You don't get anything in the mail. Um, not even the artwork for the dies. You have to buy them and they are digital. You download them into your computer and print them on your printer at home. So here is, hopefully you can see the whole thing. I'll move it up a little bit and then I'll move it back down so you can see. Here it is if it were open, um, the look because if I put it like this, you guys can't really see it. But if I put it this way, you can see the canoe there with the oars. The happy birthday right here. The little flowers. And I know my husband said, well, couldn't you make one without flowers? Well, they're not really flowers. They're more like uh, like wild flowers. Or you, some people even consider them weeds. That's what they are. And um, so what I like about this card is that you can close it up to mail it flat mine isn't really really flat because i did add dimensional tape but i i didn't have to you don't have to that's what i chose to do and um it also depends on um you know the thickness of your paper and all of that so anyway if i were to ship this I would have to make a box for it or an envelope box for it. I'm going to measure this. This is seven inches across when it's closed. And it is about seven and three eighths in height. So it's a pretty good size card. The paper 
cute. I'm not going to lift this one up because I don't want to bend the uh, cattails. But the paper down here, that is the free digital download coordinating papers. Also, the wooden one right here, that is also from them. Uh, and like I said, it's free. Um, this blue one that, that looks like water, that's one of their papers that coordinate with this set. And then I love, you know, you guys sometimes, have you ever been to the beach or wherever and you leave your sandals in this by the sand you know not really in the water but before you know it your sandals are floating in the water or they're in the water that's kind of what I did here with the sneakers and um and right here I added the um the fishing the tackle box with the fishing pole the cattails uh I personally would would have or should have I think would be a better way to do it to add a um piece of the acetate behind this to give it a strength uh, it, I, even though I use thick paper and it's double-sided, the beauty of this, these dies is if you're creating something that can be seen on both sides, it uh, you can um, they give you the artwork already for that and you just score it down the middle. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you uh, because I know every, uh, there's several people that have questions about these uh, dies and how they work. So anyway, if I turn this box to the back, I hope you can see there that it is color on both front and back. So it's double-sided, the artwork. And um, so you, no matter how you're viewing this, you're not gonna look at a white piece of paper in the back unless I cut out something that's strictly white, like the happy birthday. Everything else that has color is the same on the back and the front. So I love that about that this uh, die. The, uh, I use the lake uh, view in the back right here but then I use the die to cut it out and and add a uh, dimension behind it and then here are the clouds and some of them do have foam behind them I all, overall I love the way this card came out and here is like the water and here are some clouds and then here is the back and this again is some of that paper that coordinates with these dies this little piece right here, I thought it was really nice, and I love the tall grass and everything. Uh, this is from the Misty Morning Collection, I believe, also from Carnation Crafts. And then here are some clouds. So that's what I created. As To me, this is a masculine um, birthday card, or for somebody that's retiring, uh, somebody that's going on a vacation, like, you, I mean, whatever. If you're going to give someone like a vacation trip, like your dad or your grandpa or something like that. Anyway, this is the card that I created. I'm going to give you this view. So this is what it would look like standing up. And there it is. It's crooked <laughs> where my phone is. And I love the love, love, love the way it looks. Now, the um this one right here does have a frog that hangs down from here i don't like the way uh, i don't like frogs so i cut it off they don't scare me i don't have a pho phobia of frogs but i just don't like them uh, so i cut it off of there but you can, can't even tell but i love the little bee or insect that's right here on the grass i love it love 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 it the happy birthday is on a piece of acetate uh, that way I could put it a little bit higher and because it's so um, uh, fine, it's a very intricate cut, but it's fine lines. I wanted to make sure that it wouldn't mess up. So I just uh, added, uh, mounted it onto a piece of acetate and I love, love, love the way this card came out. Um, so I'm going to share with you uh, how to cut the these dies because I've had a lot of questions so I'm going to move this aside somewhere I have so many projects going on right now guys that I want to share with you but I haven't um, had the time yet and I stopped cleaning my craft room because I'm creating for birthdays and happy mail and, and all that so here is the sheet that you print out now their paper in the UK is different than what we use. Our standard paper is letter size. Their standard paper is an A4, which means it's a little bit uh, longer than 11 inches, but a little bit more narrow than an eight and a half. So that's, their designs are made to be printed 
on an A4 size paper. I will link uh, where I get my paper from. Uh, sometimes I don't want to wait till it comes from the UK. You know, I want it now, so I'll order it on Amazon. But the best paper that I like printing on or that I've liked the best so far is the one from Carnation Craft. It's pro paper. So it's 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 up to you. But, you know, in a pinch, I do just get regular A4 size paper on Amazon. And I'll like I said, I'll post a link. Okay, this one, you can see that there's a bunch of images here. And what I, I don't know if, I don't know if I told you, but with their dies, if you get a, a die and you take it off the carrier and they're all attached, that means leave them attached. It, we don't like other dies that we cut apart. These you do not cut apart. You leave them as they are. They are made to line up with the artwork without having a bunch of little pieces of dies and having to line everything up. So I'm just going to cut this one out of here. I already used one, but I want to cut one and show it to you how it lines up. And I have had questions like, what do I do with the leftover uh, paper? And I am going to share that with you in my next project that I'm creating because um, I'm gifting one of my friends some of my dies. Not my dies, but my die cuts of uh, Carnation Crafts. And um, let me move this out of the way. And, what I, and I'm going to share with you what I did with the leftovers. So here is one. Now, here's another of their artwork. If you notice, these are the same images reversed. And they have a line going down the middle. What that means is that this is the artwork if I wanted to do, cut it out, and for it to be double-sided. So I'm going to share with you how to use these as well. So let's cut the first one, and then I'll share with you how to do this one. I have everything sitting right here. My new uh, purchase during the craft month was this uh, Anna Griffin electronic cutter, the Empress. And I'm telling you that I absolutely love it. So all I'm going to do is put my artwork here. I'm going to pick up my die. And you can tell, like, if I go to put it like this, it doesn't line up. But if I turn it the correct way, it's going to line up. Let's say I didn't put this exactly straight. Well, the beauty of these dies are that, I hope you can see it. You can see some of the blue on the outside, grayish blue. That means that there is a bleed line that extends past the die. So even if I put it on there crooked, it will still come out good. So let me get this other little piece right here and put it on here. And again, I'm just going to line it up and I'm going to run it through my machine. And this is just the single sided. But that's how these are made to work. You don't cut them apart. You leave them as they are and you use them as they are. Not like your regular other dies that we get and we have to snip them apart. These, you don't do that. Let me see if I can get in here because I got my lamp right next to me. And what I do is when I cut, this was like this. So when I cut, I flip this around. And next time I run it, I run it flipped around. That way it gets the same wear and tear on both sides. So now I'm going to remove this. And I want you to see all the detail lines in the clouds. And this comes off as, you know, the, it cuts very well. These, this is like 110 pound cardstock. No. This might be 80 pound, but it sure feels like 110 pound. It's pretty thick. So there are the clouds. If I wanted to use this like I did in my card, I could just snip, follow one of the little detail cut lines and snip it apart. So there's that one. Now I'm going to show you how to use uh, the double sided one. You're going to need a scoreboard or a soft foam and then uh, put your piece on top of it. So here is the double-sided artwork. And uh, I just want you to see what I'm going to do here. What I'm going... 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to score it down that line. And I hope that I'm at least partially in frame so you can see what I'm doing. So all I did was score down this center line right here. Let me remove the board. And I'm going to fold it as we do when we score something. Let me find my tool right here. And this paper is pretty thick, so I recommend that when you do uh, something that is double-sided, that maybe you use a little bit thinner paper, maybe a, a 65, 70 pound paper if you can find it. Now, I'm gonna cut off all this extra around here because I know I'm not gonna need it, but I don't want it to get scratched up from my uh, cutting plates because I can cut out uh, tags, um, just different things, sentiments, uh, pennants, banners, just different things. Because this is heavyweight cardstock, especially because of that, I don't want to waste it. So now we're going to take the die and we're going to line it up. So just put your artwork done. What I love about this too, that it's magnetic. So wherever I put it, that's where it's going to stay. Uh, the paper and the dies. So let's take the boat now. And some of these have uh, the layering or the shadow pieces to it. But I'm not using them today. So if I go to put this on here, and it, see how it doesn't line up? That tells me that I need to flip the paper around so my die will line up. And remember, there's always going to be color on the edge of these dies because it's a bleed line so that if you don't line up correctly, it will still look good it will still have color so there's that one now i'm going to share with you this one with uh, the sneakers even though it's got sand and a couple pair of sneakers they're all attached we want them to stay attached that is the idea and you don't have to hardly ever do you get any really uh, small dies that are not attached from them and then i got this piece of log or driftwood and let's run it through the machine. So I'm going to run it this way first. And then when it comes out, I'm going to run it this way. Because it's very thick paper that I'm using. So I want to make sure that it cuts all the way through. time the other way I can turn that off because I'm done with it so see when I take this off I'm gonna flip it and when I put it away it's going to be that way so I'll know what way I need to use it next so let's take these off. <laughs> this one came off with it. Okay, let's remove this. Let me move this out of the way because I'm done with this. I just kind of wanted to demonstrate to uh, some of you who are interested and have had questions on how to use these dies. Okay, my sneakers, you see the sneakers, one of them came off and one of them didn't. Uh, but look at the detail even on this side. The beauty of this is that you can reverse it if you need to. Uh, sometimes we want something that on something on the right and something on the left, depending on, on what it is. Uh, and sometimes it doesn't work that way, but we want something to be thicker and not to be you to be able to see. Um that it's white on the back and not have any color when you're doing something that you're going to be seeing both sides of the of the card so what i what all you have to do with these is just add a little bit of glue and glue them together and normally they when they come out they come out together but some of them will come apart and, and there you go no matter what way 
I put it, it's detailed, but you'll always be able to tell the front from the back. So there's that one. Also, another thing, let me take this one out. Let me take the boat out. The little canoe. When I take out my, uh, if they didn't come apart by themselves, and I have to manually take, you know, take them out. See how easy that comes out, even though it's double-sided and it's thick. If these these stay together because of the uh, the detail cut line, so it kind of presses them together and they stay together. So if I needed to glue this, I would actually hold it together and just open, like, try to get my fingers in there and get find the other side. Sometimes it's a little difficult, like, to separate the sides. Okay, there it is. I would actually hold it like this, take my glue bottle and add glue on this side, and then I would glue it back up, turn it the other way, open another section and add glue. So that way it's lined up perfectly on both sides. That's how I do it, but you can do it however you want to do it. So that's how you use these dies. Here is the sand. Here is the tree, and this one hardly has any waste, but remember I pre-cut it so whatever was left over wouldn't get uh, damaged, and I could reuse it, use it to cut other things out of it. So there is how this works, and they're all double-sided. No matter how I turn them, they're going to be beautiful in the front and in the back. So there it is. Uh, another thing that I like about these dies, not on this one. Let me see, maybe on this one. Yeah. The cloud. The cloud has another section, another layer that comes uh, in two pieces, and you line this up like this. The purpose of this die is that if you wanted to cut to cut it into a card, uh, let's say, for example, this love and prayers. This has that same die that's split in two. Well, I wanted to. Let me open this. I wanted this card to be able to have this piece, half of it sticking out. And, and half of it stayed intact with the card. That's what the purpose of those dies is. And I will share with you on another video on how to do that. But that's what I love about that's what I love about those dies. That if I wanted to only cut a portion off on one side, I could. Or if I wanted to do the opposite side, I could. Because it comes with both the right and the left side to be able to cut it out of a card. So that's what the purpose of those is. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this answered a lot of questions. And I don't think I left anything out. All in all, I love these dies. I love the way they work. I love the way they're designed at all. There's no little pieces to keep track of. That's one of the things that I really love the most about them. And I love the fact that you can have, if you're doing something that's going to be shown on both sides, you have a front and a back. So it's double-sided artwork. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone is having a great day and God bless. Bye.